Hey guys, today I am sharing with you three different crock pot dinners that are all five ingredients or less. I am extremely comfy today. I have no plans but just to catch up on a few different things. So I'm very excited to share with you guys another crock pot recipe. A lot of you have been asking for them, so hopefully these recipes are right up your alley. All right, so tonight we are going to make, well, have because it's morning, <laughs> but we're gonna make some enchilada quinoa in the crock pot, and don't mind the background. Kitchen's still being fixed, and it's a little dark because we just got our power back on. It is a nasty, stormy day. Um, I quickly started laundry, and I'm hoping the power stays on so this can cook. So I am starting it a little bit earlier than I normally would. I just wanna make sure that we are able to have this for dinner. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using, and this is just a dump and go. I'm gonna dump all these ingredients into the crock pot and leave. <laughs> and it will be ready at dinner time. So I have some quinoa. I'm going to be adding one cup of quinoa. I also have half a cup of water just to make sure that the quinoa cooks. I'm going to be using one tablespoon of taco seasoning, a can of red enchilada sauce, two cans, about 30 ounces of diced tomatoes. I am leaving the sauce in there. And then one can of black beans, I am going to drain and rinse the black beans. You could also add a can of corn, that would be really good. However, my daughter Paige is not a huge fan of corn, so I am leaving that out, but feel free to add that in if you guys enjoy corn. So let me go ahead and get all of this into the crock pot so we can start cooking. I gave everything a quick stir. I'm getting my lid on. Okay, so normally when I start it this early in the morning, I would let it cook on low all day. That way it's ready at dinner time. However, because of the weather today, I wanna make sure that I can get this cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it on high for four hours and then I can just turn it off and turn it back on closer to dinner time and just let it come back to temperature or you know heat it up in the microwave if we wanted to. So. Two options, high for four hours, low for eight. Okay, this is piping hot. It is definitely a super easy, just dump and go meal for dinner and a meatless meal at that. I am using paper products. We don't typically use paper products at dinner time, but if you guys have been with me for a while, you know why right now. I am going to top it with lots of shredded cheese as well as some green onion. And you can use this with chips or have chips with it or just a good old spoon. Okay, I have a new kitchen set up <laughs> for now in the master bedroom, but this is just what's working for us tempor temporarily. So no different crock pot. This one is actually, depending on how you use it, it could be under five ingredients, but all I'm using right now are these three ingredients. So I do have some beef stew meat right here. I do still have it in the bag because there is a little bit of leakage happening. So that's gonna be a little messy. And then if you can find cream of onion soup, you can use that. But in onion soup mix, 
works just as well. So I do have the onion soup mix. I'm only gonna use one package. And then because I could not find the cream of onion, I still want the extra creaminess for this recipe. So instead of just one cream of mushroom, I'm going to use two cream of mushroom. So all you need is stew meat, one cream of mushroom and one cream of onion. If that's what you can find, this is kind of how I am changing it up. So I still have my stew meat, my cream of mushroom, two cream of mushrooms, and then the onion soup mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dump these ingredients in my crock pot. So my ingredients are in the crock pot. I mix it up just a little bit. Now, not all crock pot recipes look the best. This is definitely one of them, but the flavor is going to be super yummy. <laughs> And again, this is just a super easy like dump and go pretty much. I do have a few more ingredients coming, but this is all for now. I'm going to get my lid on and I am going to cook this on low. We do not need eight hours, three to four. I've made this a couple times. I tend to always go for four hours. So that's when I'm gonna put it on. Okay, and dinner is almost ready we're going to add half a cup of sour cream mix it in and then we will plate it up okay so you know how i said when we first started making this that this is not the most appetizing dinner <laughs> but it is scrumptious so this is really good served over egg noodles or rice we have always had it with egg noodles next time i need to remind myself to try it with rice but my kids are huge fans of noodles so any type of pasta they are going to eat it up you could put a little green on top of this if you want we are just going very basic so this is one bowl and then on the side we're just going to have some cut up french bread and a salad Tonight's crock pot dinner is probably one of my kids' favorites because anything with tater tots is <laughs> right up their alley or potato puffs because this is an off brand, but any kind of tater tot is just fine. So another minimal ingredient. I've got some chicken here. This is about four fairly small chicken breasts that I just diced up into little bite-sized pieces. I'm not going to be measuring my cheese. I kind of just, I just freshly shredded this. I might use all of it, I might not. About two cups is probably fine, but <laughs> more cheese never hurt, no, never hurt anybody. So feel free to add the amount that you want. I am going to be using this entire bag, the 32 ounces of tater tots. And then I'm going to, again, I'm not gonna measure the bacon. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it in there. So as much or you know, not as much as you like. I do have about three quarter cup of milk here. And then for my seasoning, you can kind of do whatever you want. You can just do salt and pepper. That's how I first started, make, started making this. But I have this everything but the leftover seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. And it is so good. It's got some onion. It does have salt and pepper in here. It also has turmeric, dried celery seed, then ground sage, rosemary, thyme, and parsley. And that just sounded really good. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to layer about half of my bag of tater tots in the bottom of my crock pot. I'm just gonna little press them down a little bit there. Then I'm taking some bacon and putting that on top. And I'm doing about one and a half handfuls if you need measurements. And I do have fairly tiny hands. Now we're topping with the cheese. So again, I'm gonna do one pretty big handful and then about half a handful. You guys like my form of measurement there? So next layer is the chicken, and I'm adding all of the chicken in here. And I'm just gonna use my knife to kind of spread it around a little bit because I really dislike touching raw meat. This is where the seasoning comes in. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna go a little heavy handed. One thing with crock pot meals, I tend to always want to add more seasoning than recipes that I find online and try out. Sometimes they can get pretty bland. So again, I am going a little heavy handed, but feel free to add the amount that you and your family enjoy. More bacon, 
This time I'm only going to add a handful because I'm actually gonna come back with some more bacon in a second. Same with the cheese, I'm only adding a small handful. Now I'm adding in the rest of my bag of tater tots. And I'm just going to spread those out. And yes, I'm living for the liners this month because I'm using my crock pot almost every single day. All right, we are topping with cheese. So I'm just gonna, going to use what I have left that I shredded because like I said, we really love cheese in this house. Um, I didn't really spread that out that well. So let me fix that as well as some more bacon. That's actually another one of my kids' favorites. They love bacon. And don't worry, we did not forget about that milk. So I'm just taking the three quarter cups of milk and spreading that or pouring that over the top. Okay, lid on. I'm gonna get my crock pot on low. You definitely do not need eight hours. So you're gonna need four to six. It just depends on how thick you sliced your chicken. I did mine fairly small. So I'm gonna start out at four hours, check it, but you could need up to six, just again, depending on that chicken. Four hours, definitely plenty of time for the size chicken that I cut up. So dinner is ready. It is very, very hot. It almost reminds me because these tater tots definitely cooked up super easy and flaky. So I'm gonna show you guys one plate that we've got ready. It reminds me more of a hash brown casserole this time because of how they're breaking apart, but the flavor is fantastic. I'm glad I used that Trader Joe seasoning. We do have some salad waiting at the table to add to our plates, but all right, there's our crock pot chicken tater tot casserole. All right, so those are the three dinners I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed them. If you love using your crock pot, give this video a big thumbs up, a subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I am totally looking forward to some cooler weather here in Texas and starting to make some soups in my crock pot. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.